This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and it is the 15th of January 2017. We are recording one episode after the other. It's like it's like raining men but with podcasts in this case instead of men. Uh, not instead of raining, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, and this is the 19th episode already, one left for the golden 20. I don't know, R20 golden, I don't know. And I am very happy to introduce a new co-host and that is... Christoph Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, uh, oh, you're the douche who has two first names as a real name. Yes. Yeah. And Christoph, we watched, what did we watch? Sissi, an uh, Austrian historic movie. Kind of historic. Come on. Kind of historic. Yeah. Um, historic. Historic. Yeah, a historic movie. From 1955. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and it's. Um, that's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing much more to remember yes. in this movie. It, it has all the qualities of a fever dream. Like, you have weird people in weird costumes mm -hmm. being not normal people and then everything exaggerated and it, uh, turned up to 11, basically. To what? T turned up to 11? Oh, God, you're so young. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. Uh, normally, you can only turn up a sound equipment device only to 10. Okay. And there's this movie called Spinal Tap, and one of the musicians in the movie has a, has a uh, has some musical instrument that he can turn up all the way to eleven. Okay. Like he had himself made a machine that has a knob and the number eleven. Like it has to be better because it can be turned up to eleven. Uh, yeah, okay. that's that's the expression. Thank you. Yeah, learning English <laughs> with Paul. You are. Exactly. Uh, tell us a little bit about you, because the people already know from your voice that you're not a native speaker, which I, some of the listeners already like are expecting at this point. Yeah, I'm not a native speaker. I'm from <laughs> Austria. Um, I'm 22. That's two times 11. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you can do complicated <laughs> math problems, apparently. No, because 11... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, callback already. Yeah. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm, you're doing comedy. Yeah, I'm doing stand up for about a year. Nice, um, nice. Mostly in Vienna, I guess. Yeah, so far just in Vienna. Okay, yeah. Well, you can branch out at any time. What? <laughs> you can branch out at any time. Yeah. Yeah. S it, there, there are no limits. We are still in the EU. <laughs> <laughs> We, we pushed the Aust the Usix or the, the Austrian exit exit yeah such a stupid stupid name already Brexit was stupid but yeah. Austrix Austrix <laughs> <laughs> verdammt schon wieder Austrix <laughs> <laughs> only the German speaking folk will understand this joke <laughs> and it's a bad one so don't worry English English speakers yeah um, yeah, so you're a comedian, you work here, and we watch this this mm -hmm. masterpiece of Austrian television and uh, Austrian movie making. It's um, again an, a historic movie, and I think we got gonna already move on to the first plot point. Okay. And uh, the first point in this podcast, and that's gonna be plot. Plot. <laughs> you don't have to say it back. I'm, <laughs> oh. I'm just enhancing it later in post. The plot. I, I, mm -hmm. I use a, uh, an effect called the Paul oh, okay. the Paul stretch. The, okay. Yeah. And you're yeah. so smart. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, tell us about the movie. What is this movie about? Because you were saying that you like three quarters in. What should I fill in on the plot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there was not a lot of plot. <laughs> 
Um, there's this um, young girl called Sissy. Right. That's why the movie is called Sissy because it's about her. Um, <laughs> Not about some 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 weakling who's being called a sissy. No, no. no. <laughs> it's with an I, not a Y. Very important distinction. But she's also called uh, Liesel or Elizabeth throughout the movie. Yeah. Which can be very confusing. Yeah, because all the people look the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably because they all have the same parents and. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an Austrian dynasty joke for you. <laughs> yeah, so she um, she lives in Bavaria, mm -hmm. and you don't have to uh, confirm what I'm saying. <laughs> no, um, and she um, goes to Tirol after an, an invitation yeah. by the mother. Of, of the, the Kaiser, yeah, which is by coincidence the sister of the mother of, <laughs> of Sissy, which gross, but continue. Yeah. <laughs> Let's leave the family intrigues behind. Okay, so she goes there with her mother and sister mm -hmm. because her sister shall marry the Kaiser, Franz exactly. Josef, exactly. Um, but then she falls in love with uh, Kaiser Franz Josef and he falls in love with her. Yep. And Typical story. Yes. Yeah. And she, she, she uses a very fiendish way to get his attention. And that's <laughs> the worst meet cute in, in, in history. She goes fishing illegally. Mm hmm. And she can't apparently use uh, a fishing rod properly and throws back the hook way too far and it catches, of course, the breast pocket or some of, something, remember. something, some tassels on, on the uniform of the Kaiser, who is at this moment, at this exact moment, riding by on his, on his uh, cab. Yeah. Horse, horse drawn carriage that's the word beautiful idea yeah 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 and then <laughs> then they have like this magical moment because he is already very angry well not discontent with his mother's action of get, trying to getting him married and then he finds this lovely come on she's not harder than the sister she, um sissy she, is she. not harder than nini a, a little bit a little bit yeah really You don't think that's just the movie telling you that she's harder? No, no. no, no. <laughs> Or is it personal Her preference? Her sister looks a little bit, I don't know, confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the actress just being, why am I in this movie? <laughs> What? That's just the actress like going like, why am I in this uh, movie? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a few of those people, especially the extras in the background, are like, uh, are we supposed to do anything? Yeah, so um, she meets him, they, they fall, fall in, in love, love immediately, immediately at first like, sight. Yeah. And then he wants to marry Sissy. Yeah. But she doesn't want to marry him because her sister should marry him. Yeah. He's supposed to be. But then and her she's sister there. finds another guy. Later on. Later on. After the whole proposal and everything you're going through this really fast but yeah go on <laughs> go on it, it's really not a lot of plot that's we're already in the last 10 minutes of the yeah movie. and then Franz Josef tells his mother that he wants to marry Sissy yeah and who she objects kind of what she objects to the marriage she wants mm -hmm. because she chose Nene which is a far better choice in her opinion Because As of whatever. Yeah, no, because she sees is a raunchy, uh, uneducated, kid. Uh, uh, misbehaving kid. Yeah, and some of those adjectives actually apply to her. They are not just insults. That woman actually has some. Yeah, we're going to the coming to that later. But man. <laughs> yeah, and. But then her mother accepts it and yeah. his mother accepts it and then they marry. Yeah. And then they all die in the end. 
<laughs> no, they, well, way later, like any historical figure that's that old, they all die. Yes, yes. but not in the movie. The, Sadly, not. <laughs> yeah, the marriage is basically the end. The, yeah. of the, basically, the end. A very anticlimactic end. Anticlimactic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> yes. <Or No>. <laughs> anticlimactic. Forst richtig. <laughs> Antiklimatisch. <laughs> Antiklimatisch. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this movie. Um, yeah, so we are done with plot. I think this is the fastest we've ever went through any plot ever. <laughs> Normally it's the biggest segment, but let's see. Fast and painless. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Which drags on for an hour and I think... 45, 45 minutes mm -hmm. 45 yeah. yeah something like that oh jeez um <clears throat> yeah let's go on to the next segment and that's cinematography mm -hmm. so um yeah it was filmed with the camera i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah they you they used a lot of steady shots mm -hmm. where they really they didn't do like Yes. On a dolly or something where they transported it on rails or something. It mostly went with very a very static, very traditional filming style that is just supposed to show you things mm -hmm. and not intrude. It it almost in some scenes, like for example at the post office, it 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 had the feel of like a stage more than a than, mm -hmm. than a yeah, set. That's true. Like And the, 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 the color scheme is crazy. The greens are really mm -hmm. green. The whites are really white. Oh, that's just the normal <laughs> truth. <laughs> just like our co-host um, and me. <laughs> and the, yeah, it's just the, the colors really pop. Mm -hmm, I don't yes. know if that's the digitally remastered edition that we watched or if it's... Uh, uh, That they use Technicolor or some other fancy film for the for the movie. We would have to look that up. Mm -hmm. They definitely have that in a, some book somewhere, but I'm not bothering. <laughs> look it up yourself. The, the colors are awesome, yes. and it yeah. doesn't intrude the camera. That's basically. I don't mm -hmm. know. There wasn't any real exciting shots. I except think one time the camera shake. Really, I think really. Once, yeah. Okay. When, when was that? Just so I couldn't remember like what? in the middle maybe okay don't you know the the specific scene i guess no okay no. but um maybe when they were bowling yeah. <laughs> what? oh yeah yeah right yeah maybe the, 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 no I, i totally spaced on the bowling scene hmm? <laughs> i totally spaced on the bowling oh. scene i totally forgot about it oh my god that was an amazing scene <laughs> like the The, the, the comedic timing that they had was perfect like oh your dad had b more important business to attend to and then they cut right to him bowling with his buddies in his castle like <laughs> wife and kids are away time to play and that's not even true there are like what five kids left what they had like seven kids mm -hmm. where are the other five kids Where they were? Yeah. Behind the kegeln. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Right. They're, okay. No, so they're, so, they're, so they're he's right partying there. with his kids too. Yes. Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> Casual alcoholism and gambling are no bad influence for my kids. <laughs> at, at least he didn't use the kids as the... Uh, bowling pins? The bowling pins. Yeah, yeah that, would, that would have been... Uh, Even in 1955, cruel behavior towards kids, mm -hmm. even act the kids. <laughs> And they, you could basically kill them on screen back then. You really? Could, no. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, there's this deep history of Austrian cinema mu murdering kids. <laughs> It's very well known. Great times, great times. Yeah, great times. Yeah, so the cinematography, uneventful, mm -hmm, all in yes. all very very humdrum for the time very good i guess for 1955 properly made yeah yes i think so yeah okay it But showed what it had to show and that's it it didn't intrude it didn't 
I said that four times now, so let's yes. stick with that and move on. It, it, the cinematography was like myself. It didn't say too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let's move on to sounds. Yeah, there were some songs in there. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some really good ones. Like, you totally remember, like, yes. the one with where they're like. Dun, like dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, they didn't use that one, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> like the one with the instrument. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the one where they sing. Yes, yeah. 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 Good, good, good times. <laughs> <laughs> But I noticed they used a lot of ADR, like they they recorded a lot of the lines apparently in the studio and overdubbed them. Mm -hmm. So they and they didn't give a shit about lip syncing. Yeah, lip syncing apparently because it was sometimes it was on the spot on the spot and sometimes the mouth moved for half a second and no sound came out of it. <laughs> that had that had that added some more comedic value for me at least i found that i didn't really notice <laughs> you just didn't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> yes. no yes I, I gave some fucks yeah some 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 uh, a limited amount of fucks yes ah, okay yeah i get it but at least i didn't make a chili con carne during the movie <laughs> <laughs> i was hungry dude you had your popcorn don't 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 food shame me. <laughs> I eat, uh, you potato. Some some people eat some people eat pizza during a movie. Uh, it, for me, it's chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a non crunchy food, which is very important, mm -hmm. I think. So and you can use a spoon, so you don't have to cut anything, which is also nice because cutting on a plate can be distracting mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I think it's one of the next to ice cream. I think one of the best movie foods that there is when it comes to being, you know, quiet, quiet, quiet. and also having a food that you know pairs well with a movie. I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this ninety-five chili <laughs> pairs really well with, <laughs> with uh, uh, this historically falling for Columbine. Huh? What? This historically accurate nineteen fifty-five. Oh, so accurate! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because anything Sissy said would totally, totally happen back then. Sure. Yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm educated now. Thank you very much. I'm not going to... Goodbye. Yeah, yeah goodbye. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Um, yeah. Um, otherwise, I don't know. There's not, not not a lot to say about the sound, I think. I guess. Oh, there was this one kid on the, uh, on the horse, on the toy horse, playing the trumpet. The, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely the least talented musician in... The whole movie, like even the the, the time that Sissy played the, on that mm -hmm. old Bavarian music instrument, and it's definitely not the actress playing because it, it again it didn't sync up with what she was playing. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. So so the so. the kid was definitely the worst, the second worst. Well, the worst, and then there was. Sissy, and then there was the actress playing Sissy, Romy Schneider, which went on to have one of the greatest careers in, 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 in Austrian film history, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. There, there, there are a few Austrian actresses, or I think there's only her when it comes to that I level so. of fame for an Austrian actress. Yeah. And for for her first movie, not that was bad. the first movie? I think it was a, either first or second movie. Okay. Yeah. She was really young, even so. She kind of played CC even from her age. Mm -hmm. It's not like an American movie where they just cast thirty-year-olds as high school students. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it totally looks like sixteen. No, don't worry. You, 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 you could be casted still as I don't know. A CC. I don't CC with some makeup or a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> Whatever comes first. 
I guess, in the casting role. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> if any directors listening, <laughs> yeah. I will recommend you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> let's 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 move on to the next point, and that's best moment. I think the best moment. Um, was when it all ended. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite moment. That was your favorite moment. It wasn't the best moment, but it was your favorite moment. There's a difference. Really? Yeah, best would more describe okay. something from a more jep- objective, not personal. Mm-hmm. Favorite it always means for you. It's okay. I understand. Um, yeah. So. But your favorite moment was the end <laughs> Was it really that grating to watch that movie? No, but it was not that exciting. Pleasant. It wasn't as pleasant either. Yeah, it's not a Hollywood blockbuster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> an Austrian blockbuster. Yeah, it, it was an Austrian blockbuster. It was, it's one of the most successful movies in Austrian mm-hmm. history. It made a ton of money, got syndicated. F- I don't know where, but yeah. It mm-hmm. was internationally also a success. Yeah, people just love royalty, I guess, and old stuff. And in 1955, it, you also have to see it as a movie of its time. Because mm-hmm. 10 years after the war, Austria just got its freedom back, 1955. And was about to get its freedom back. I don't know when they started recording this movie. Probably earlier than that. It's normally a year or something. So... Still, Austria was still occupied when they were shooting that movie, basically. So, mm-hmm, yeah, the, and the whole feel of the population and everything was was one of f- wanting to forget the cruelties of wars. And one of the, the, the things that really went, mm-hmm. went very well for Austrian cinema were those, those kind of movies that had like a very feel good, no high stakes everything is fine Austria is still like a world empire that owns Mexico for some reason at some point um, <laughs> we own Mexico for, for sí. a very short time yeah si sí, si sí, sí, señor sí. muy trabajo <laughs> and um, yeah this is this is a very symptomatic if not the movie for that genre mm-hmm. just very feel good uh, everybody's happy at the end even the mm-hmm. bad guys are happy at the yes. end even the mom and the, the the police chief who is inept to know yeah to a level that is yeah it's just comedic at that point mm-hmm. nothing about him is real yeah, yeah so um, you can watch um, this with a three year old this movie yeah you shouldn't if, if, you shouldn't but you could if you want her to sleep yeah <laughs> or him could be any kind of kid hmm? you said her oh yeah could okay, be any kind yeah, of kid him, yeah yeah <laughs> it's not just boring for girls it's gonna be boring for boys too because that's 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 a thing for me well i'm gonna leave that for a final conclusion um but yeah what's mm-hmm. your best moment what what um f- think stood out for you in the movie um i i think when she, when when the franz josef uh, mm-hmm. gave the flowers the to yes. sissy and not yeah. to nina oh yeah that yeah. that <laughs> burn moment where she <laughs> just walks ice cold walks your friend sounds yeah <laughs> <laughs> i saw you once and i didn't like you <laughs> your sister came first Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's your best yeah. moment. Yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty great. That was a pretty amazing, amazing scene. Um, for me, I would uh, either the 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 uh, riding scene at the beginning where Sissy enters the movie via horse mm-hmm. and jumps over the rose bushes. That one was pretty pretty good, but I fear that it may be because you made that Peter joke. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. should never jump over roses with a horse. Yeah. 
could cut itself potentially. Especially not if it's a really. Peter is like it could be plastic roses, or you could like pull off all the thorns, and then you could you, like uh, cruelty-free roses. Yeah. Especially not if the horse is a male and very old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then, yeah, yeah, you you get some scratchy balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be subtle, and I'm the tank that's yeah, just exactly, rolling yeah. through it. Like fuck you. <clears throat> yes. Like like a shitty roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> a really shitty roller coaster. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes, and probably one of the best i think mm -hmm. and the rave the rave was amazing at the end yes and weird yeah they had a dance a casual what what what, what would you call it uh a, no it's a formal dance an epileptic um seizure dance seizure. <laughs> <laughs> yep no it's so for the listeners imagine royalty going really nuts like no Imagine a British person, very close-minded, do something uh, really outrageous, like the most outrageous thing that it could do, and that's a little bit of dancing. And that's... Okay. It's just so much dancing that it's not considered a, a, a marching drill from, from, from military school. <laughs> Because it had so many fucking rules of, like, it's like line dancing. Three, four, four backs, then two to the side or something. Then whip your, whip the other pe person in the face with, with I don't know, a bushel of wheat. Then, then three steps back, pull a gun. Then drop the gun, pull a knife, stab your partner. Three steps back, something like that, yeah? Yeah, exactly like that, yeah. <laughs> That joke went nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it felt like uh, more of a duty than uh, joy when yeah. you danced. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, like we have to do this. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> like right now. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you came, came first. I don't. I wanted to make that joke. Also, <laughs> haha, came first. Um, <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here uh, on. It's my free will to be here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, think twice for if you're being being taken against your like the against your will. Yes. <laughs> so bad. Um, okay. Yes. Let's move on to the second to last uh, um, segment, and that is. C -C the real villain? The real villain? Yeah. Because she has no regard for um for for anybody basically. It's only her own joy that comes first. She doesn't obey her mother. She she exploits her father's love to give her things like animals and keeping mm -hmm. a wild animal in a cage and uh yeah animal cruelty is definitely her thing because her her, her, her father even motiv motivates her to jump through the roses with the mm -hmm. horse yeah so he's the real enabler in the whole scenario and the mother is just yeah has no 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 balls whatsoever and, and yeah. also um, um, animal abuse yeah uh, because uh, people actually watched it <laughs> <laughs> human animals Humans. were harmed during yeah. the watching of this movie <laughs> yeah um, no, she she was. she um, she runs away to meet with a guy in the mountains even if it's the Kaiser it's still that's that's shifty she in a in a foreign country to it's just unsafe yes. girl yeah she she is really a scoundrel and maybe even the real villain in the whole scenario because she shits all over the potential marriage of her, her sister mm -hmm. um, she she marries a guy even though she knows that she's not gonna be happy at 
uh, Schönbrunn. Mm-hmm. She, yes. she, she is the real villain in this whole scenario. <laughs> what do you say? Mm, I don't <laughs> you know. can retort. You can retort at any point, please. Mm. It's all hap- It's all bullshit, anyways. Okay. Ooh, yeah. It's a it's a critique of the movie, but with dick jokes in it. Come on. Um, I I didn't see her as the villain. <laughs> yes. The movie makes it very hard to, to feel that way. <laughs> yes, I think um, she's played by. A, Romy Schneider is really charming. A little bit. Yeah, right? Yeah, she's charming. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she's charming. She can be charming all night if she wants to. Well, she's dead, so... <laughs> <no>. <laughs> she can be also charming at day, at light, uh, all day. She's charming while she sleeps. Where, where's she forever. buried? Huh? Where's she buried? I don't know. Maybe in Paris. Maybe in Vienna. I have no fucking clue. I should show. I should look it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna look it up, but I should. Okay. <laughs> so I think the villain was the the mother of of Franz, Franz Josef. You mean the aunt of Sissy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, aunt of Sissy. <laughs> Mother of the Kaiser. Cousins. Uh, uh. Well, yeah. <laughs> could yeah, be worse. Yeah, could be worse. <laughs> could be the could be the sister <laughs> or the mother. They sure. had some decency. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so decent. I'm only gonna marry my first cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Only a little bit related. I want some foreign genes in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the fathers, the respective fathers, they're brothers. That would be hilarious, though. Hmm? If the if the Kaiser's father and Sissy's father were brothers, mm-hmm. then it would be like, oh wow, you're really keeping it in the family. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. So, so you yeah. didn't see her as the villain. No, she didn't more, strike you as a more villain. her aunt. Yeah, he more her like aunt. Yeah, and the uh, the police officer no, was, was too ridiculous to be, to be a villain. Yeah, yeah, he was thwarted by two questions, <laughs> <laughs> two questions, and that the Kaiser's like he would be the worst, um, like um, he's the anti Sherlock, huh? Yeah, the worst, the terrorist spotter, like. Yeah, are that you, was his job, basically. Are you a terrorist? No. Okay. Move ahead. <laughs> Move ahead. Yeah. yeah. Just go through with your bombs. <laughs> Therefore, the firework, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there were fireworks in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Those were pretty fancy. Mm-hmm. Maybe those are the real villains. Pub, uh, pollution. Yes. Yeah, that's the, real, that's the real villain. Yeah, also the m- most gross misconduct of uh, royalty. Towards the common people. <laughs> what do you uh, mean like to say? The, 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 the only servants were in roles of, like, there, there were no common people like I don't know a shoemaker in this in this movie, or mm-hmm, yes. a bartender or somebody. Yeah, you only had royalty. All the way through. Even the fucking housemaid was a baroness or some bullshit. Like, mm. yeah, uh, clean my... Oh, you'll own, like, land where a million people live? Okay, clean my feet. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there, were, there was not like... Maybe uh, that's the real villainy in here. Yeah, Royalty. The, the diversity, the, the missing diversity. <laughs> yeah, no black guy. No black people, man. yes. <laughs> Yeah, or Turkish person. Well, in 1955, there weren't a lot of minorities around. Well, they could have used some Russians. Yes. Some Russians, some French. Some Russian hacker. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hacking, <laughs> tried hacking the telegram, the t- telegram line. <laughs> telegraph line. Telegram. It's a telegram, but it's a telegraphic telegraph Te- line. The beep, beep, beep thing. Morse code transportation unit. 
Exactly, yes. <laughs> That's the official <laughs> name, right? That's his title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And MCTU. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to think about it for like is that is that is that right? <laughs> I, I I don't know. Yeah. But she's not the real villain. I know that, but I feel like I have to hate her for some point. <laughs> for some reason because she has some questionable decisions and some mm -hmm. very cruel hobbies. Even if she mm -hmm. doesn't hunt, it's still not cool to keep a wild animal caged up like mm -hmm. this. But whatever, let's move on to our last yeah. point and that's uh, final conclusion. Hmm. Yeah. What does the fox say? <laughs> um, so the final conclusion is um, I think the, the movie didn't age well. <laughs> really? Okay. okay no, continue. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, because as you said, it was all feel good and suitable for the times. Mm -hmm. But now it just feels like um, it's uh, too much happiness and not enough um, action. All right. So you want a car ch chase scene in there? Maybe mm. some rocket launchers? No, it doesn't. But just like... Um, more tension. Yes, more tension. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yes. More drama if it's a drama Yeah, more drama. Piece. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I, can. I feel you. I feel you. Um... I hope you feel me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I I enjoyed the movie too. Um, well, I, I did actually enjoy the movie this time around because mm -hmm. the first time I watched it, my dad basically used it so that I would stop watching TV because I wanted to watch something like uh, something like a cartoon or something. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to watch Formula One, but Sissy one on, was on the OF2 so okay. he switched because I was like complaining about Formula One he's like now I'm gonna watch now and then he switched no, yeah, yeah. we'll he's show you something really boring yeah exactly <laughs> and then I'm like, like ah, and just <laughs> went away and so he continued to watch Formula One yeah so CC at this time around way more enjoyable you can you can really joke about this movie yes, while you're you watching can, yeah. it that's 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 a thing you could do Mm -hmm. Watch it with four or five friends of yours. Get really, really drunk. Make a drinking game out of it. Every time Sissy says something obvious or dumb, drink. Every time she says, mommy or puppy, yes. you have to drink. Yes, yes, exactly. Something like that. Then it's an enjoyable movie, mm -hmm. I think. It's nothing you should watch on your own, though. No, that would be sad. Yeah, that would be really, really sad. But I think we're going to review the second and third movie as well in the future. Um, yeah, this... this This, again, I would recommend it if you're doing it like for for the lols, I guess. Mm -hmm. Jesus yes, Christ, yes. So you could old. do that. I sound so old saying for the lols. <laughs> no, you should say <laughs> no. You're not that old or something. What? <laughs> no social skills. Uh, <laughs> you should what? have said like, no, you're not too old. It's fine. You're not too old. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you. No, it doesn't matter. You, you, you apparently you're not getting it. Maybe I didn't want to get it. Ah, yeah, that's pr yeah, yeah. You being a <laughs> <laughs> you being a coy cunt. Um, yeah, but nothing to watch on your own. Nothing too exciting, but very indicative. And if you want to know more about this period of Austrian mm -hmm. filmmaking, this is probably the best you you're gonna get. Yes, exactly. From a from a like what people know standpoint, at least. If someone It's the said, most watched movie. Of if this someone area. says in the past everything was better, show him this movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna reaffirm his his position his position on the whole thing. Um, now let's finish up with your plugs where can people find you on the internet where can people see your shows or um, yeah you can like me on Facebook okay uh, well, your Facebook is where Facebook yeah <laughs> um, slash 
Yeah. Just Christoph Fritz. Oh, okay. Just yeah. type it into yeah, Facebook. Yeah, type it in. And ah, yeah. You don't have a, a custom domain. A what? A custom domain. Facebook.com slash yeah. Christoph Fritz. Probably not. Yeah. Somebody else. Uh, yeah, that. I think so. I have. But I don't. It, the link is going to be in the description below. Drop him a like. He's really funny. Um, thank you um, for being here. Oh, it, it, yeah. Mm. Live shows. Where can um, people see you? Yeah, you can also find it on my page. Um, like, you can uh, find the dates on my page. Ah, yes. yes. Where you're going to be. Yeah. Great. For example, on Thursday this week at Grind. Oh, okay. Um, right on, man. At uh, Nordbergstraße. Yeah, it's right next to the Franz Josef Bahnhof. Oh. oh. Nice. Nice. That was... <laughs> it all was, was... Yeah, it it's all, was all for, for this joke that wasn't a joke. <laughs> just a coincidence. The truth, yeah. Yeah, just the truth. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure to have you here. Maybe we're gonna have you back in the future if you want to. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, yes. <laughs> fuck you again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, please, guys, uh, drop me a like on Facebook or um, go to the uh, iTunes page that we have or on my homepage. Just, yeah, and share, like, favorite, subscribe. Yeah, we're on, on YouTube too. Uh, YouTube too. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I'm gonna burn in hell for that one. Um, um, yeah, let's not make this any longer than it is. Bye. Bye.